Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We're looking at Google calendars and we're going to try out different ways to create an event. The easiest way, of course, is to click on the big button there over to the left hand side. that has got the little plus and it says create. That's the easiest way and uh, the most obvious, of course, to be able to create an event. So let's start there by clicking on that button and it's gonna pop open this little window here where we can go ahead and add information for our meeting directly from here, including the title, the date and time. Uh, we can add our guests here um, and either, even location information and so forth. Now we want more options than down here at the bottom, you can click on more options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that's gonna pull open the event window um, so that I can actually add more detail like, uh, for example, here, uh, providing myself some notifications. So if this is a meeting maybe that I'm scheduling, I might want a 10-minute 10, 10 notification to come through either on email or you can also select notification. And as you can see, my default is to have both of them there uh, because I like to get um, the notification that pops up letting me know, hey, you've got um, uh, a meeting coming up in 10 minutes. So you can set this by the way as well. Like if you wanted it to be um, five minutes before the meeting, you can change this from uh, minutes to hours, days, weeks, etc. So you can customize this uh, and I'm gonna set this back to 10. That's what I like my uh, notifications to be. Uh, down here at the bottom, you also have more options like being able to attach a document. If this was a meeting, you could attach uh, an agenda here, or perhaps if you're reviewing a presentation together, let's say you have students in your class that are doing a group project, maybe you're attaching some group documents to this. Um, you can also drop in some information, um, just some brief details, like this is what we're gonna talk about, here's a brief agenda. If you don't actually have a document, you could add that here. You can even link items down here in this section as well. All of that can be added to your, um, to your meeting. The other thing we see here to the right-hand side, aside from being able to add guests like you saw in the earlier screen, you can also uh, control their permissions. So you can decide if guests can modify the event, invite others, and even see the guest list. And usually if you have a really long um, guest list, like over 100 people, it will automatically hide them. But you might only have five, 10 people and you don't want them to see the guest list. So you can always uncheck that. And then that way um, they won't be able to see it. And you can also, of course, uncheck invite others so that only the people you invite can actually get this um, meeting invite. So we're gonna go ahead and create this. I'm gonna call this demo and we're gonna set it for there. October 1st is fine, we'll leave it there. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on save. Let's say we've, we've customized and added all the things we wanted to add. We click on save and that uh, particular, here we go. That particular event is now on our calendar as you can see there. Once it's October 1st, let's say, um, you could just simply come in here, click on that to see event details. It would also show you had we invited people if they've RSVP'd or not. It would, you know, would let you know if, if they're a yes or, or maybe or, or a no. So, so they have some options there um, to certainly pick from. As you can see here as well, I could certainly um, delete the event as I'm going to because this is a demo. Or you could actually go in and edit the event, let's say to invite somebody else that you hadn't invited previously. Or it could be that maybe you you uh, didn't um, have it set up to be a, a meet um, where it was just really a scheduled event, um, but not in a Google Meet. So you could actually come here and add it as well. And as you make these changes, um, like adding a Google Meet, for example, um, the participants would actually get the notification letting them know that the meeting has been um, edited. So something has been updated. So that's really nice that it does that for you. So that's really cool. Anyway, so that's the easiest way to set up a uh, calendar event by just simply clicking on that button. In addition to that, the other options that you have is to simply click on the uh, calendar day that you see on your screen. Now I have mine set to default to month. Yours might be a different one. You might actually have perhaps week uh, or day. So you can certainly toggle between those and have a different one selected. But it's kind of the same thing in the sense that all I have to do, let's say you have the month view, all I have to do is just simply click over that day and it pops open that same window we saw earlier. If you do happen to be on the day or week view, it's the same. So you would actually come in this case because we can see more information like the times, 
I could come over to Sunday the 26th at 12, click there, and it already has the actual time included, which is quite nice. So different ways to be able to add a calendar um, event. Hopefully those are helpful to you and you find one that works for you and you stick with that one.